Kaboom! Kaboom! Next rate Delta 1, it is 827.08, time is 0741 Eastern Daylight Time, transmission commencing. Alright, it's been a while since I posted anything here, um, mainly because there hasn't been that much, that much going on around here lately. Um, the Olympics are over and summer's coming to an end, so kind of depressing time around here. In fact, I'm going to go to my high school orientation, whatever it is, in about 20 minutes or so, which isn't really much. It's like a formality. It's my senior year after all, so I should go there, you know, get my schedule, you know, get my stuff, then I have to go straight to work, so. Oh, well, formality, I guess. So, um, this blog is going to be mainly review to, uh, the Heavy Weapons Update for Team Fortress 2. Uh, it's been um, almost a week. It's been about a week now since it was. Yeah, it has been a week now since it was um, first introduced. And the Happy, of course, were excited about it. As you can hear by his um, singing in the um, intro here. So let's go over to response first of all to my last blog, my last real blog about the Happy Bay. Um, we have one comment this time. One comment. Oh well, it's from Portal. I'm gonna use the name Portal. He says. Oh yeah, I just don't mention the name of the person who gave him a talk. I've always thought Steel was a very well designed map, uh, one of my favorites, and I'm glad it's now official. As with heavy achievements, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm sure I could go for New High School to Spy. Thank you for the comment, Portal. Uh, yeah, I did that just on the condition of uh, anonymity, so the person would not be hurt. I, again, I have reservations. I, at first, I have my reservations about Steel, but I like it a lot now, and I am glad that it's now an official map. And I'm sure you're in Hacker of Twenty Points Down to Spy, though I see you as a sniper a lot. I see your head get blown off a lot, too. <laughs> Actually, speaking of me, that reminds me, I've noticed a growing trend now on the um, on the 4 server, which is where I play Team Fortress 2. Sometimes when people kill me, they will respond in uh, what I call restrained jubilation. So I don't know if this means that I'm either getting better, that they're happy, it's so good that they're happy to kill me, or there's some sort of fanatical obsession with murdering me, or if. They're just jackasses. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, well, who knows? Um, no responses to my statement about the possible episode three elite level. However, um, the post of the video, ha video in question, has now admitted that the video is in fact a fake. So um, again, my congratulations to the map maker that did a hell of a job making that map, and um, maybe next time, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so, um, let's go over now the heavy of the achievement. Now, first though, actually, before we go over that, let's go over something that I've been noticing a lot on multiplayer games as a whole, especially on Team Fortress 2, where it's like, becomes pretty apparent after a while. And that is like rage during, uh, video games. Often times when, like, you know, you have someone that is like a really serious gamer, kind of like myself, you will see them, like, explode into, like, a rage when they get really frustrated in playing a game, like they keep getting killed by someone, or they can't be a level, or something like that. And, um, they will do something often called rage quitting, which is where just out of blue, just quit out of sheer rage of annoyance of being killed all the time. Sometimes, um, video game rage is pretty funny. Like, for example, I was playing yesterday, I was, um, sniper. I'm a very good, I'm, uh, pretty good with that, um, Sniper class, sniper class Team Fortress 2, so I've been told, and uh, I just passed my 100th hour as a sniper, so. Um, a friend of mine, Endeavored, was uh, doing a rocket jump as a soldier, and I hit him with a headshot while it was rocket jumping. He's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, God damn you, Helios! <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. I was just laughing. So anyway, um, there are some things that are not funny, like people, like, you know, screaming and cursing on top of their lungs. I mean... Especially when they're dear friends of yours, that's not necessarily that funny. Um, also, when someone comes onto the game and they're just jer they're just in a bad mood already, that kind of dampens the mood a bit as well. Also, it does help when someone talks down t to the rest of the server, saying that they're better than everyone else, when the reality is they're getting killed all the time, but that's another blog. Anyway, so, I find it very hard to actually get mad during a game. I mean, even when I'm dominated in Team Fortress 2, that just tells me one of just tells me like one of two things: either one, I'm slacking off and I gotta work harder because you know this person has gotten the impression I can just kill them whenever they feel like it, so I gotta work a little bit harder here. And also, if that's not the case, then maybe two, they're just better than me. 
I mean, I want to say this like to all my friends that play on service. I mean, people get like mad when they're playing. I mean, um, don't get me wrong. I love you guys all stuff. I don't want to disrespect you, but when you're dominated by someone, has it occurred to you that it may be possible that person is better than you? I mean, have you ever thought of that? I mean, it's like I'm gonna go against LeBron James. He's gonna totally steamroll me in basketball. I'm gonna be mad at him for being better than me. I mean. There's a lot of good players on the server, like, you know, Witchy and Nikki and Doom and Ailer, just name a few. These guys are better than me in some aspects. I'm not going to get pissed off when they dominate me. I mean, I mean, they're just better than me. I mean, come on. I mean, for example, Nikki has over, like, 460 hours as a Devilman. I don't know how she got that many hours. I don't really want to know how she got that many hours, but she has that many hours, and so she's more experienced than I am at the game. So, whatever. So... Remember, people, when you're playing, remember that, you know, it's a game, and games should be fun. And if you really have to quit, then just go, like, take a break five minutes and go get a cookie and come back. I promise you, if you do that, you'll feel the right as rain. Okay, enough, um, enough, uh, missing there. Let's go on to my review of the, um, weapons. So, um, you have the three weapons now, we're having update. You have the new minigun, Tasha, which I think they could call the, um, cheating slut minigun. Very good, um... Very good weapons, can be very lethal when used right. And I love the sound it makes its fire. I mean, it's like. It's an uh, awesome sound. It's like something off like. Like, I'm gonna get off like an AC 130 or something. I don't know. The shotgun was indeed, repl indeed replaced by the sandwich. And, um. With the sandwich. Um, nom, 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 nom. You, um, get 120 HP boost. And the heavy may even say something afterwards. Pretty funny. And, um, the fist is you know, replaced by the KGB. Um, my painting, the um, AG, the KGB look pretty ridiculous and heavy, but they work. They work. So let's go over the uh, new maps now. The map, um, the Bad Water map, very open. Um, can create some interesting um, areas. It's, it's pretty hard actually to get a good defense up until like you know the last, the last point, and because this is only one area instead of three areas, like most people on maps, um, this map goes a lot more fast than Gold Rush. My only real complaint about this map is that the boom at the end is pretty damn lame. I mean, there's like the particle effect and all that good stuff, but there's like no cinematic physics or anything, so pretty lame boom there on Val's part. I only complain about it. Now, the new game mode is called the Arena Mode, which I call like, you know, a cross between Team Fortress 2 and Counter Strike. Arena Mode is designed for like, you know, smaller teams. Like, they start off with like, you know, 2 on 2 or 4 on 4, but I think it goes to like 8 on 8 at one time. So, um, it works by. It's pretty much a deathmatch mode like Counter Strike, and, um,. In arena mode, if you kill someone, they won't be coming back for the rest of the round. So, like, you know, one of the ways to win the game is to kill everyone on the other team. Also, there's a control point that will be activated after the first minute into the game. And if you capture that control point, you will also win the game. Now, once, um, now, of course, there's only like 16, only like 16 people can play at a time right now. So, on servers like the 4th server, when there's, when there's more than 16 people, you're going to have people that aren't able to play. Well, what happens is that after a match, people who are waiting to play are swapped out with players on a losing team, so it keeps at least one side fresh. And also, to find wins, both teams are mixed up. That keeps the game fresh and prevents steamrolling. So, yeah, I really enjoy Arena Mode a lot. I mean, there's some pretty mixed feelings about it on the server as a whole, but overall, I really enjoy it. And I can't wait to see more maps from uh, either Valve or third-party developers about regarding the um, Arena Mode. Okay, I should about do it. Um... Uh, what to watch? Um, not that much good thing on TV now. Let's see, TV now, I can't think of anything because now the Olympics are over. So yeah, I'm kind of a lost there. I guess go out to the movies. I mean, go see like you know Death Race or Tropic Thunder or Dark Knights, which is still in top five. Really good movie. Everyone, movie of the summer, I guess they're calling it now. All right, so that will about do it. And uh, the heavy weapons guy will also sing a song now about his sandwich. So I'm gonna close out with that. So uh. Extra Delta 1 at 0750 East Middle Time. Transmission, command, transmission concluded and Heavy, take it away. Sandwich and me going to beat your ass.